All right, what is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be going over NVIDIA Control Panel and the best settings um, for an NVIDIA Control Panel. So um, let's slap this one right in the cock and balls and get right into it. All right, so make sure that you right click on your desktop. All right, go to show more options. All right, click on NVIDIA Control Panel. And in a couple seconds, you should see NVIDIA control panel pop right up. Now, first off, we're going to start and adjust image settings with preview. Uh, this, by default, is going to be set to quality. Make sure that you um, set this to performance. Click on Use My Preference Emphasizing and select Performance and then click Apply. All right, now manage 3D settings. Uh, now, follow along with all of these steps. There's going to be a lot uh, of different options in this, in this menu. Uh, so just make sure that you follow along. Uh, if you ever get lost, you can always go back and rewatch. Um, so image scaling, um, I just got done recording this once before and uh, screwed up. So um, I would usually leave this off, but if you have a um, slightly older GPU or a less powerful GPU, you might want to turn that on uh, for certain games, for certain demanding games. Um, so once you have, if you did want to use this, um, once you have it on, you want to go ahead and click uh, OK. Go to change resolution. All right. Now you're going to see a bunch of different resolutions pop up. Now this works just like AMD Fidelity FX, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, pretty much downscales the image to a lower uh, resolution. Um, and then upscales it back up to fit your screen and adds a sharpening filter. Um, so if you wanted to use that, you just select whichever resolution you want and click apply. I'm just going to keep it on 13, four, uh, um, 3440 by 1440 because that's my native resolution. Um, now let's go down to ambient occlusion. Keep that off. Anastrophic filtering. Keep that off. Anti-aliasing FXA. Keep that off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction. On. Anti-aliasing mode. Off. Now um, go down to background application max frame rate. Keep that off. CUDA GPUs. All DSR factors off low latency mode make sure that you set this to ultra by default it's going to be off ultra is going to maximize um well it's going to lower your latency um and it's going to be best mainly for you know like first person shooters and things of that nature all right so slap that one right on the ass and click apply all right now uh, for max frame rate I would keep this on off. You could, if you if you have a game that's running at like 2,000 FPS or something, and you want to limit the frame rate um, because your monitor is 144 hertz or something, um, then you can go ahead and turn this on, limit whatever you know, limit it to whatever frame rate you want. Now, monitor technology. Now, this is going to be both fixed refresh and G-Sync. Um, if you're running a monitor that's 144 hertz and you're getting maybe 60 to 70 FPS in a particular game, you might want to turn on G-Sync. It'll make your experience more fluid, more smooth. Um, but I personally keep it on fixed refresh, um, because I'm not usually running into, the, into that kind of, um, like monitor bottleneck or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, if you do prefer G-Sync on, then you can keep G-Sync on. Um, and I will let you know though that G-Sync does in increase latency, but if you have a low, la low latency mode set to ultra, then you should have no problem. Um, but I'm going to keep that on fixed refresh. Now, multi-frame sampled, um, AA, keep that off. Open GL rendering GPU, auto select. Now, if you're running a laptop, uh, and, and you're playing a game and you're getting really low FPS for whatever reason... Um, you might have your Intel um, integrated graphic selected. You want to go ahead and make sure that your uh, high performance NVIDIA um, graphics are selected to ensure that you're that that's the actual GPU that you're using to run the game. All right, now power management mode. All right, so by default, this is going to be set to optimal power. You want to go down here and set this pr to prefer maximum performance. This is just going to allow your GPU to pull more power. Um, from the power supply, and it's just going to allow to squeeze. Uh, it's going to be able to squeeze a little bit more performance out of the, um, you know, it's going to be able to, able to juice it a little bit, you know. Um, now, preferred uh, refresh rate. I select put this on highest available. Uh, if you put this on application controlled, some applications might try to limit your frame um, frame rate, and um, therefore limit your refresh rate as well in your monitor. So go ahead and um, select highest available. Shader cache size. Make sure that this is unlimited. Um, you want 
whatever games um, that want to save cash to be able to do so and not like run out of space or something like that, that could definitely uh, lead you to running into problems down the road um, in terms of um, performance, especially if you don't um, like reinstall Windows 10 often or something like that, or if you don't, you know, um, if you don't uninstall games often, um, that could always, you know, that could definitely hinder you. Uh, so just go down here, select unlimited, texture filtering, anastrophic sampling, uh, sam sorry, sample, sample optimization, keep that on, texture filtering, negative uh, lot bias, allow, texture filtering, quality, high performance. Make sure these um, change this from quality to high performance, there's no difference in the way that your game's going to look, it's just going to increase your performance by about 5%, sometimes even 10%, I've seen it go as high as 10% um, when I did user benchmark. Um, all right, now texture filtering, trilinear, trilinear optimization, keep that on. Threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and make sure that your virtual reality pre-rendered frames are set to one. Um, I accidentally set this to do uh, to two at one point, and it, it my my graphics card took a shit and run um, abandoned me. So um, all right, now let's go down to change resolution. All right, so you should have your native resolution automatically selected over here. Um, usually your uh, computer will be able to determine that just when you hook up your monitor, uh, but you will have to change your refresh rate man manually most of the time. So make sure that instead of 60 hertz, your refresh rate is set to whatever the highest available is, which for me, it's 120 hertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply, yes. Now go down here to apply the following um, settings. This by default, of course, is going to be set to use default color settings. You want to come over here and select use NVIDIA color settings. So this should automatically be set to highest 32-bit. Um, the output color format should be uh, RGB um, output color depths. I'm not able to change this, but if you have 10-bit color, uh, you may be able to change that to 10-bit color. Make sure that that is changed. Um, you'll be able to get better colors out of whatever monitor you're using. Uh, now, I, output dy dynamic range, you want to select full instead of limited. It's just going to allow you, as you can see down here, um, um, limited is 16 to 235. Full is 0 to 255 for 8-bit color. Make sure you th uh, that you click apply once you have all those settings changed. All right, now come down to adjust desktop color settings. Uh, for me, I have my brightness slightly turned up. Um, but when you turn up brightness in NVIDIA control panel, you want to also adjust your contrast as well. Now, there's a reason why I don't completely blast out both brightness and contrast. It's because um, it will make whites look way too white. And um, let's say you're looking at like a white couch or something. Um, it'll look, you won't even be able to see the couch. So make sure that you play around with that. Um, you you will be able to get a little bit more brightness out of your, out of your display if you mess around with these settings right here. Um, just be careful not to completely blow... Um, brightness and contrast out of the water or else it's gonna look really bad uh, now go down here to digital vibrance um now this is just going to make colors look more vibrant i do not suggest 100 percent um i suggest somewhere around 70 percent um because it does give you a bit more color than 50 percent um but i in my opinion doesn't completely blow colors out, out of proportion and make them look like completely washed out or something or like horrible all right so let's go down all right let's go down to adjust de uh, adjust desktop size and position all right now because i have let's see let's go back up to manage 3d settings because i have image scaling turned to on right now i'm going to turn that to off it's not going to let me change scaling options click apply All right, yes. All right, let's go right back here. All right, now I'm able to select these options. Just remember that if you do have um, in image scaling selected, you're not going to be able to change your aspect ratios. Um, <clears throat> so for me, to, for the lowest latency possible, I would come down here, select no scaling, click apply. This, um, for real, lowers latency like a lot a lot more than you would think i don't know why more people don't think don't talk about this um i've mentioned it other people have mentioned it everyone agrees that um selecting no scaling um absolutely does lower your latency 
um, that's just because you're, it doesn't have to process that you are, that you want your aspect ratio to be your scaling mode, uh, is what I'm thinking. Um, just make sure that this, uh, no scaling is selected. Um, it won't cause any problems with games really, or anything like that. Um, you might have to go into some game settings and manual, manually select, um, your, your screens, um, resolution, but you shouldn't have to for the most part. Um, all right. And also, if you do have aspect ratio or full screen, you want to keep it that way. Make sure that your display is doing the scaling, not your GPU. GPU is going to add a lot of input uh, latency, and it's just not going to be fun, especially if you're playing first-person shooters and stuff like that. Um, all right, now if you want to set up G-Sync, this is where you do it. You would click Enable G-Sync. Um, now, if you're going to use G-Sync and you're going to use it all the way, I suggest you use um, it for windowed and full screen mode. Um, that's just me. Um, however, uh, if you only want games to use G-Sync and not your actual um, computer when you're not playing video games, um, um, just select Enable for, for Full Screen Mode and then click Apply. I'm not going to enable it. Now, set up multiple displays. Um, let's see. So, I have two monitors. Personally, this is where my second monitor is set up. Um, if you do have a second monitor, depending on where your monitor is, all you do is just drag this down or to the side or on top. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, the more monitors you have, the more little of these rectangles you're going to be able to ch uh, change. Like, let's say your second monitor is on the left. You put it right here. Third monitor is on the right. Put three right there. All right. Now, but, uh, adjust video color settings. Metal needs to get the fuck out of here. All right, there we go. Okay, so just come down here. Um, you're going to be going to advanced. Uh, just skip color and gamma right here. Go to advanced. Uh, make sure that your dynamic range is set to full instead of limited. Um, as stated earlier, it's just going to uh, give your monitor access to more colors than it would have otherwise if you left it on limited. Um, now adjust video image settings. Go over here to edge enhancement. Um, select use the NVIDIA setting. Um, and I just drag that all the way up to 100, and then noise reduction, and I drag that up all the all the way up to 100. Um, and all right, guys, that pretty much concludes all of the best settings for NVIDIA Control Panel. Um, I get um, amazing FPS in games. I've never had any problems um, with that. Now, if you have if you have like a CPU or a GPU bottleneck, um, some like it, let's say you have a GPU bottleneck. Um, this might help slightly because you're going to get better performance, but if you have a CPU bottleneck, then unfortunately um, this won't usually help unless you um, upgrade your CPU. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. My Twitch is going to be linked down below in the description. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this really helped you out. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.